never mind. Queen nine. You lose the bet. I lose the bet. It's over. Right, but now if you listen to what I said there, guns they're they're excellent at punishing Qatar approaches. At least in my opinion, I feel like that's gonna yeah that's gonna be in PKPR's advantage here, especially with his very passive, very parry play style. It's gonna be difficult for LDZ to find an opening there. But PKPR weaponless, he's he's getting punished. He needs to get a weapon soon. So LDZ going straight to his main here, opening up with that spear, trying to find these side airs. But PK going with the Sarah himself, tries to open up the D-Light combo, loves gravity canceling those down lines, and it doesn't work out. As LDZ, holding on with the spear, goes for that weapon toss recovery, brings PK into the orange. That's another big thing we have to consider. PKPR on Thatch is three defense against Queen High, and LDZ is no slouch at landing any moves, even if they aren't from bread and butter combos like down light combos, and we already see them in the orange. Nice D-Light diner coming in, but that only evens things up. A nice ground pound, however, and... PKPR punished, waits out that end sync and hits him with an end sync himself. Nicely done. PK takes the lead. Yeah, I mean, what? that was a. That, those were two pretty obvious reads right there. LDZ just falling right into PKPR's uh, trap there. I mean, I was almost about to say how I feel PKPR is a little bit less comfortable with sword than he is with guns, but it seems to be working just fine for him. LDZ is getting punished brutally. Yeah, when you fully charge an NSIG on stage without the enemy being off stage, that's going to result in a hard punish that the opponent knows what they're doing. Either. That's exactly what we saw. Neutralite stopping these side sigs. LDZ putting on another end. It does not work out, and PK finds a nair, goes to the recovery, doesn't work, and LDZ is getting destroyed on the second stock, and excellent signature punish, LDZ! Goes for that GC side stick, and PK just goes for that end light, and ground pound does not connect, but LDZ tries to punish with the air. PK smartly ends that early, but the down stick finally kills. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm sorry to say, but I'm, I'm a little disappointed right now. We're seeing LDZ pull out a ton of signatures, almost like he's fishing for them. We saw like maybe three or four side signatures with the guitars there, and he was getting punished for almost every single one of those. With Queen Nye being as slow as she is and all those active frames, it puts him in a really bad position. He needs to start looking for strings instead of hard-hitting signatures, in my opinion. Yeah, and now LDZ is slowing it down quite a bit. It's just looking for pure nares here. Gets the recovery, but as you saw, that entire stock right there, like that past 20 seconds, LDZ was just keeping PK outside of center stage and using nares to keep him outside. Some of them hitting, some of them not, but PK finally finding a weapon. Gets that down air stare. Whoa! Catches him with that D-Light out of his recovery, and LDZ doesn't get punished for it past that. Nice recovery back on the stage. Puts him in the orange. It's so dangerous for PK because a side sig could probably kill him. Yeah, I mean, I think LDZ is taking the right approach here right now, though. He's not putting himself in a position to take any hard-hitting moves. He's simply waiting for every opportunity he can get to just kind of chisel away at PKPR's health. However, PKPR did find that Nair, and it ended up killing. So he's got the stock advantage, but not by much, especially with Queen Nye defense. That side light sending him flying, spike ball in hands, going for that throw, but he's not going to be able to hit it at that angle and holding on to the guitars now. Gets hit by a cider. Once again, down to comes out. LDZ playing Queen Nice, still is trying to get a little bit more on PK, and he gets a nice chase dodge there. Has to recover back to the stage, but that's exactly what he needed to even it up. Absolutely. He, he needed that kill more than anything, and he got it. He's got a huge opportunity now. I mean, you could say that stocks are even, or you could even say that the stocks are in the... In, uh, in PKPR's favor, but with Queen Knight defense, I mean, anything could happen at this point. Nice new plays coming out side lets as well. PK gets hit by the guitars. LDZ dodges out of the way with a Sarah to avoid getting punched by that neutral lane. A nice side to cover the landing. Neutral comes out. LDZ forces PK to dodge low, and now he's got him on the ledge. Waits for his wet landing. Goes for the nair, but he gets hit by a down air. LDZ and PKPR exchanging evenly. Dodges out of the way of that end sig, and LDZ you know, waiting for PK able to do something but pk is so patient those gc end lights cover so much room and even though the side light clips puts him into the orange nice stare into the stage this could be it for pk no the ground pound doesn't come out as the recovery is out and that side stick punishes the side stick from ldz pk pr doing great with the sword i feel like as long as pk pr can remain grounded and remain in the center stage he'll be able to take this game but LDZ putting him in a position where he had to recover and he ends up getting punished by that down signature that'll kill Wow, LDZ surprisingly taking that really quickly as I thought the match had a little bit longer to go, but no, that signature punish on the side of the stage will do it. Game one goes to LDZ. Yeah, I mean, PKPR had a huge opportunity there to take that match, but um, I, I noticed something and I felt like it was a huge mistake of his. Um, he had himself in the center of the stage, you know, grounded well, and, and he was punishing LDZ's approaches, but he ended up getting himself positioned on the side of the map where he ate... Um, a few light attacks from LDZ's Katars, and that absolutely changed the damage pool and ended up changing the momentum of the game and causing him to lose it, in my opinion.
it was it was really close, really close. It came down to you know a mispositioning, in my opinion. And the coolest thing about that match is that, as we saw, LDZ had to adjust entirely because PKPR at the very beginning was winning with his playstyle, and we saw that LDZ had to go right. from trying to go for that string heavy stuff to just throwing out nares and finding a few hits here and there. Recovery sides are coming up from LDZ, however, gets the recovery cider connects, and PKPR playing on the island isn't winning out. And he has his guns. Right, and I mean, to go off of what you just said there, that's what defines a good player. Having the ability to adapt to your um, opponent's current play style is crucial. I mean, you got to know when it's time to aggress and when it's time to just kind of stand back and chisel at their health. Uh, both players trading rather Ooh. evenly. PKPR is finding some nice gun Whoa. punches, but that slide charting charge down sig is going to kill. Wow, LDZ taking an early stock advantage here. It's looking pretty good for him. That was such a great jump read from LDZ, and even though he got punished for two sides in a row, he was able to take that stock, and that's huge for him, as he's got a lot of defense in the sideline D-like combo coming out from the spear, putting on a lot of damage on the PK as he inches off the stage, waiting for an island, waiting for a weapon spot on the island to favor him as he just holds onto the side, and LDZ inching forward to approach. Those are the yeah. GCMs. <laughs> I mean, that was a high-risk, high-reward scenario. He might be wow. dead. He might He's be dead. Gonna He's going to gimp. No. Oh, no. PKPR able to recover. Gets a double recovery. LDZ finding himself in the kill percent. He's not able to hold on to that stock. I don't think PKPR looking to get the edge guard. However, LDZ does actually manage to recover. PKPR unable to punish there, but he does end up getting that bread and butter to secure the kill. Stocks are even, but PKPR at a damage disadvantage. He's going to need to... Uh, play a little bit more passively, I feel. The one thing I hate about LZ's playstyle right now is I think that every time he's thrown out side stick, he's gonna punish. PKPR does not... Wow, that does a kill at the top. But they, he does not approach on the ground. He doesn't dodge forward, he doesn't side light. PKPR just doesn't do that with the sword. So every time LZ goes for the side stick reads, he just gets he just gets hit by a neutral light, he gets hit by a down light. It, it, every time. I, I feel like that, uh, that can kind of go both ways. Like... It's high risk, high reward in the sense that LDZ is throwing out these signatures and he's putting himself in the position to get punished frequently. However, if he does manage to land one of those and put PKR in a PKPR in a certain position, it'll be devastating. It'll be game changing. So it's like, it's like either it's gonna work and I'm gonna win, or it's not gonna work and I'm I'm gonna get absolutely destroyed. Well, and, and that being said, getting absolutely destroyed isn't necessarily true because he is Queen Eye. He can take those punches for a little bit. So I guess that's something else to consider. Now he's got PKPR on the orange. He's looking to take a two stock. And then what? The GCN sig did that hit him into the island? Yeah, that was some weird platform interaction. Uh, he bumped him off the corner. It ended up canceling out the kill. PKPR is on his last stock though, and in kill percent. I'm not really seeing too much of any way that he could end up taking this game back unless he manages to play so flawlessly that he does take another hit. I doubt that will happen as the Sayer comes out and LDZ takes a 2-0.